Let me tell you about Bob, the business owner. Bob was running a small business and was the CEO of his company, the chief everything officer. Bob was doing everything in his business from customer support, lead generation, sales, social media, WordPress updates, even his own bookkeeping and accounting. No matter how much Bob did in a day, he couldn't find the time to get everything done for his business. Bob was stuck in his business and couldn't get the business to grow. Until one day, Bob found PeopleSource International. PeopleSource International is a company that helps businesses grow by offering virtual assistance in customer support, lead generation, sales, social media, website design and development, and even bookkeeping. Not only could Bob's team at PeopleSource International get the work done faster than Bob himself, they were actually a fraction of the price that it would cost Bob to hire in-house employees. Today, Bob the business owner runs a thriving and successful business. Bob is now down to wearing just one hat, the CEO, as in chief executive officer of his own company. If you're like Bob and looking to take your business to the next level with the right quality help, then PeopleSource International is the answer for you. Visit PeopleSourceInternational.com today and find out how you can grow your business. Okay, let's get started. I want to thank everybody for, first of all, joining us for this uh, webinar and should be enlightful and in, and delightful, we hope, uh, that you learn a little bit about how you build a virtual team and how to build your organization, really get things moving. My name is Robert Fox and I'm the CEO and founder of PeopleSource International. Let's get started. First of all, the thing that I would like you guys to do if I do nothing else but get you to think about changing your job title, then I will have done my job today. And that is change your job title from CEO to CEO. CEO to CEO, that doesn't make a lot of sense. Chief everything officer to chief executive officer. Do you understand what I'm saying, folks? How many people can relate to the guy on the left? Probably quite a few of us. Well, my background, 25 years as an entrepreneur, started my first business at the age of 21, had that for about 18 years. I've run three successful companies in my life. Um, I tend not to float around a lot. I've got an MBA, Doctorate of Business Administration. I started my first overseas workforce in 2005, and that came as a result of me really struggling with a business that I had and trying to get it to grow. I called up my brother-in-law, and this is a, my brother-in-law, and said, can you help me set up an office? And he said, absolutely. And so that was the genesis. Uh, my brother-in-law is a retired colonel, um, and this was the genesis for what is now PeopleSource International. Because I was able to really transform that business and really get it to move, I thought, my God, I could go out and I could help other entrepreneurs who are struggling just like I was. Now, I like baseball, and let's say, for example, I was the manager of a baseball team and I decided to put all my players in center field. Probably not a good strategy. You know, instead of doing that, I'll stick them all on first base. Oh, you know what? You know what's even better? The most important position, I think everybody arguably would say, is a pitcher's mound. So we'll stick them all in the pitcher's mound. Bad idea, guys. But why do we do this with our companies? A well-rounded business is just like your company, or a well-rounded team, I should say, is just like your company. You need to have players that can, yeah, hit the ball out of the park, but also can throw the ball 100 miles an hour. It's a well-rounded team, and that's what we're talking about today is building a well-rounded team. Anybody know this guy? Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar holds the holy grail in the sport of basketball. And that is he's the all-time highest point scorer with 44,400 points over his career. An amazing accomplishment. How did he do that? Well, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar has an un a competitive advantage that he exploits, and that is he's seven foot three. He developed a shot called the skyhook. 
unstoppable shot. Magic Johnson throws it into Kareem. Bam, bam, bam. Skyhook. Does your business have a skyhook? This was the skyhook for my other business that I had. Google would, I would pay Google. Google would send me qualified leads. I would put business proposals together, which by the way, this was my Achilles heel. When I got this part of the equation solved, my entire business say changed. 80 to 90% of the clients that I spoke to would say no, but that 10% is all I was looking for. It's all I needed to make everything work. And when I wanted more leads, I would simply give Google more money and the cycle would start over again. Now, does your business have a, a sky hook? Because what most businesses run into are these roller coasters of sales cycles where you go out and you work really hard to get a lot of leads and it's woo, ride the roller coaster down. Then you run out of leads and you're into the prospecting mode again. Oh, I got to do cold calling. I got to go to chamber events. I got to do some blah, 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 right? So you're constantly in this flow. We to none. It's kind of like this. Here's a prospecting roller coaster. You're looking for leads, looking for leads, and oh my gosh, I got more leads than I know what to do with. Look at them all. Oh, I can't get in touch with everybody that I got because you don't have a system. Oh my God, ah, I just lost some leads. Oh, it's okay. It's a, oh, I'm out of leads again. Oh no. Oh, now I'm prospecting for more leads, 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 leads. If you have a consistent flow, I know that's a little crazy, but if you had a consistent flow of leads, what would happen to your business? Your revenues would go off the chart, right? You'd have a money machine. That's what everybody needs to build. That's what we're all trying to build here, right? Is a money machine. You just come to work and the money just comes out of the, out of the pores of the walls because it's just minting money as they say, right? <laughs> oh, now, Top five reasons why companies do engage in outsourcing. It allows you to focus on your core business, which is critical. There's cost savings and competencies that you pick up. You reduce overhead, operational control, so you can stay in control of your business and focus on the thing that is that money machine that really makes you make money. And you have staffing flexibility. Common questions that we get. How do I pick an outsourcing company? I just want to briefly uh, tell you a story about Apple Computer, which some of you probably remember. A few years ago, they got in some hot water because they had a vendor who had 100% overseas presence. And that vendor, as it turned out, was using child labor to build Apple's computers. Not all child labor, but they did have children that were working in their factory. Now, the State Department didn't really care that Apple Computer was in that particular circumstance. They got hit with some fines, bad publicity. It was a mess for Apple Computer. The story that I'm trying to convey here is how, if Apple's vendor would have had a U.S. presence instead of just being completely international, that would have uh, exonerated them from, from a lot of the heat that they, that they had to go through. When you're picking a company to work for, I high, or work with, I highly recommend that you look for a company that has a U.S. presence as well as an international presence. Doing things like anti-spamming, um, DNC calling, if you're, if you're doing cold calling, those are all things that, that can really make a huge difference. I had a bad experience once. Oftentimes what happens is people use bulletin boards for their outsourcing. And bulletin boards are fine, don't get me wrong. These are generally speaking people that are living overseas um, and they post jobs onto an online bulletin board. You can, um, or excuse me, they post 
skill sets that they have on an on online bulletin board. You go in and, and you post on, on that. And they're absolutely fine if it's a project you're working on. However, I wouldn't invest a lot of time in training somebody that you found on one of these bulletin boards. Because guys, these are freelancers. When a better job comes along, they're gonna be gone. It just happens time after time after time. I hear these stories. Generally speaking, this is kind of what their infrastructure looks like. Their corporate headquarters is a little shack. Um, they've got a Skype and a DSL connection. Um, I know my outsourcer is somewhere around. Where is he? Oh, he's gone. This is what our system looks like. US base, we have management in place, backup generators, accent training, script writing. We have a whole system that we put our employees through. Quality of English. We put our guys through a, a comprehensive American accent training, which is unbelievable. What is the level of education? Well, you know, most of our guys are college graduates. Many of them have MBAs and um, computer science degrees. American versus international telemarketers. I'd like you to play a video of Robin Ramirez. Ramirez. I own a company in Mission Viejo called Health Quotes Plus. Been in business for about 20 years. And I came across Robert's group, People Source, about 12 months ago. Got involved with the, uh, the marketing. Been more than pleased. Um, everything got geared up. Within about 90 days, we kind of went past that learning curve. And right now, we're, we've got a payback of about 90 days, I believe 90 days on all our dollar investments going into, into uh, people source. So it takes us about 90 days to recapture the money that we put into advertising. And that gives us a return of investment gross of about 450%. So am I happy with the services? Absolutely. Would I do this again? All day long. I have no intentions of leaving people source anytime soon. I do have other, other uh, uh, marketers in California. I wish I could say they do as good as uh, as the people source of people. Unfortunately, uh, that wouldn't be the truth, but, you know, again, I'm just happy with the services. So if you hear what Robin said there real quick, every dollar he gives us, we give him back $450, and our guys outperform the U.S.-based telemarketers that he has working for. That's in short what he said. Here's another one of our hey, clients. This is Bill Walsh with Powers International. If you think about a great company, I mean, the best in class when it comes to virtual assistance, making your life easier, automating some of the back end process for your business today, you definitely want to partner with People Source International. They are fabulous, they own it, they deliver great quality, and they deliver it in a timely fashion. But more importantly, your customers will love the experience. Once again, it's Bill Walsh with Power Team International. How can I use my VA? Well, a better question would be, what can you not use them for? Let's take a look at some of the tasks that your virtual assistant can do for you. Things that have to get done. Managing your CRM. Working on your WordPress or even building your WordPress site. Doing your social media. Blogging. Doing your accounting. Helping you with webinars helping you build your video, and helping you in your business operations. These are all tasks that PeopleSource International can help our clients with. Here's a uh, video the from third Steve one Jobs. Is starting now. And the third one is, let's do for human-to-human -human communication what spreadsheets did for financial planning and what pub desktop publishing did for publishing. Let's revolutionize it using these desktop devices. And we're already starting to see the signs of that. As an example, in an organization, we're starting to see that as business conditions change faster and faster with each year, uh, we cannot change our management hierarchical organization very fast relative to the changing business conditions. We can't have somebody working for a new boss every week. We also can't change our geographic organization very fast. Matter of fact, even slower than the management one. We can't be moving people around the country every week. But we can change an electronic organization like that. 
And what's starting to happen is, as we start to link these computers together with sophisticated networks and great user interfaces, we're starting to be able to create clusters of people working on a common task in a, you know, literally in 15 minutes worth of setup. And these 15 people can work together extremely efficiently no matter where they are geographically and no matter who they work for hierarchically. And these organizations can live for as long as they're needed and then vanish. And we're finding we can reorganize our companies electronically uh, very rapidly. And that's the only type of organization that can begin to keep pace with the changing business conditions. And I believe that this collaborative model has existed in higher education for a long time. But we're starting to see it applied into the commercial world as well. And this is going to be the third major revolution that these desktop computers provide, is revolutionizing human-to-human -human communication and group work. We call it interpersonal computing. In the 1980s, we did personal computing. Uh, and now we're going to extend that as we network these things to interpersonal computing. Wow. Okay. So that was an interview of Steve Jobs 25 years ago. And he was talking about basically what we're talking about today. And so my question to you would be, this is a quarter of a century ago conversation. This is not new cutting edge technology. If you're not taking advantage of this technology and integrating it into your business today, do you think you're behind the curve or in front of it? Exactly, behind it. Now here's my why. This is my beautiful wife. And um, these are our wonderful kids. Uh, this young lady over here is in medical school right now. She's finishing up a master's degree, and this young man is finishing up his bachelor's degree. So they're great kids, very proud of all of them. And that's kind of the reason why I do what I do. Now, why do people struggle to delegate? These are the top five reasons. Believe it or not, not enough time, loss of control. I can do it better myself. I don't trust others. I don't know how exactly. And the I don't know how is why you need to hire a company like PeopleSource International. Because we can take you by the hand and put you into our system and do it for you. What is your time worth? This is a real quick exercise. And if you do the math here, let's say, for example, that you're earning $100,000 a year. That means you're making $50 an hour. Well, if you hire somebody at 10 bucks an hour, now you have an output of $100 per hour. Your net is $90 an hour you're making. So that's really how you should start looking at your time. Setting priorities. Anybody do this? All of the things that we need to get done during a day, correct? The reality is where we should be spending our time is probably on the last four to five over here. These other things, somebody else should be doing that for you. And if you're engaging in this kind of activity over here, you really need help, okay? How do you put the pieces together? Well, let's talk a little bit about what PeopleSource does. And the way we put our teams together is we have a management team in place, we have a full-time marketing manager, as well as a backup VA for our clients. And obviously, unlimited expansion is one of the major advantages of working with PeopleSource. You keep your internal staff here. So there's here is you plus your internal staff. And then PeopleSource integrates into your solution. Client story. We had a client that uh, Sinus Wars, they've been with us now for probably about four years. And after hiring us for over a year, the client did something that he'd never been able to do before, and that was he took a vacation, took a two-week vacation. I mean, anybody here like to take a two-week vacation because you just, but you can't because you're strapped to your office? I know that's a story that could be very compelling. Had another client, and they were spending an overhead operational cost about $100,000 per month. 4,000 square foot office space, the client decided, you know what, I'm going to go virtual with everything. And what happened? Cut his operating cost by $84,000 per month. Wow. 
These are the virtual assistant packages that we offer. They come in full-time to part-time. Um, these are the basic services and, and the way we're kind of broken down. In addition, we also do website development groups here. We have project managers. This is Ron. I work as a platinum virtual assistant at People's Source International. I work with clients as a project manager and help them orchestrate complicated business scenarios. I've been working here for over six years and would love to help you. Okay, that was Ron. Here's Chris. Hi, this is Adam. I'm a gold virtual assistant at People's Source International. I've got five years of experience. I've worked at many call centers, but love working at People's Source. We would love to grow your business. My name is Chris and I'm a silver virtual assistant. We help clients with all types of projects, from PowerPoint to CRM management, and I would love to help you. Okay, so those are a few of our guys. And these are the basic tasks that we can do. Um, help you stay organized, help you virtual, social media, manage your everyday task, really putting everything together. And how I want you to look at this is your dream team. And take a few minutes and just write down if you could, if cost wasn't the object and you could just build your absolute dream team, what would that look like? Who would be on it? What, what things would you be able to outsource or get off your plate? What would your assistant look like? What kind of activities would they be doing? And where would you be spending your time? Really think about this, okay? Building your dream team. How would you like to grow your business? Better customer support? New marketing campaigns? Software web applications? optimizing your workforce, and what's holding you back? Is it lack of resources, lack of labor or budget, lack of knowledge? You just don't know how to do what you don't know how to do? Any of these? Probably most of them, right? Well, this is one little adage that I want to leave you with, and that is, how many of you think that dogs like bones? Well, I have some bad news, guys. Dogs don't really like bones. Dogs like meat, but they settle for bones. And I want to ask you, are you settling right now in your company? Are there things that you would love to do, but you just think they're out of your grasp? Well, that's why we have a very special offer for you today. Because... We're not going to try and sell you anything. In fact, we're going to give you something for free. Because you've invested in us, we're going to invest in you. And if you'll go on to this um, bit.ly link here, bit.ly forward slash PSI apply, and tell us a little bit about your company, one of our coaches will call you, and it'll be either myself or one of our coaches, and give you a 30-minute conditional coaching call absolutely free. So invest in yourself and let's talk about how your company is structured. What are some of the ways you could optimize your workforce? Because we would really love to discuss this with you. And I want to thank you for taking the time out of your day to join us on this webinar. Again, my name's Robert Fox, and our company is PeopleSource International. Thank you so much.